Around 170 police have seized documents and electronic files from Deutsche Bank's offices in and around Frankfurt. The banks accused of helping 900 customers launder more than $350 million through offshore accounts. We will now cooperate closely with the prosecutors here in Frankfurt am Main in, in Germany, as it is in, also in our interest to clarify the facts as soon as possible. In a similar case last January, the bank paid American and British regulators $630 million in fines after Deutsche was found to have helped wealthy Russians launder $10 billion through dodgy trades. That same month, Deutsche agreed to pay U.S. authorities $7 billion for misleading investors in its sale of mortgage-backed securities. The market cap of the, of, the, uh, of the bank is now about $19 billion, and it's already been hit with $18 billion worth of fines since the financial crisis. But it's not the only lender on the continent facing legal trouble. Dutch bank ING recently fired its chief financial officer after a $900 million money laundering fine. In September, Switzerland censured Credit Suisse for weak internal controls. And last week, Danish lender Danske admitted that $234 billion in cash from questionable sources flowed through its Estonian branch. Deutsche has said it helped process some of those payments, but terminated its relationship with Danske in 2015 after finding suspicious activity. Howard Wilkinson led Danske's trading unit in the Baltics from 2007 to 2014. He told Danish lawmakers he doesn't expect any ongoing investigations to lead anywhere. We're now here at the back end of 2018 talking about dirty money from 2007 to 2015. No matter how talented the prosecutors are globally, there's no chance in the world that any of that money is ever going to be tracked down and that any criminals will lose a single cent. Deutsche has promised to improve its Know Your Customer policies, something German authorities will be watching closely. Paulo Montesilio, TRT World. For more on this, Ira Spitzer joins us now from Berlin. Good to have you back on the program, Ira. So yet another legal trouble for Deutsche Bank. Tell us, how did Thursday's raids unfold? Well, this was quite a major police operation unfolding in Germany's financial capital of Frankfurt. Uh, you had about 170 uh, police officers as well as tax inspectors and investigators uh, going through Deutsche Bank's headquarters as well as five other offices in that area. So the uh, news of this started to trickle out as the morning went on pretty soon. Uh, German media was, uh, was reporting on it and on the scene. Then you had uh, Deutsche Bank itself going on Twitter to, uh, to sort of come clean or update the public on what was happening. And then uh, before long, you also had a Deutsche Bank spokesperson out there in front of the bank addressing the media. So this all really uh, happened very quickly. For its part, Deutsche Bank saying that uh, that the investigation is uh, connected to the Panama Papers, but also saying that uh, in its, uh, it had thought that it had revealed everything necessary to the German authorities, but uh, that it was fully cooperating with this latest investigation. Yes, as we know, the Panama Papers were released to global fanfare back in 2016, and they essentially uh, named and shamed individual and individuals and businesses who used uh, offshore tax havens. How is Deutsche Bank embroiled? How, how is this later, these latest ra raids related to revelations in those papers? Well, there were uh, about 900 uh, clients of a Deutsche Bank subsidiary in the British Virgin Islands who uh, have been uh, accused or suspected of uh, money laundering through uh, with the help of this Deutsche Bank subsidiary. So uh, the, the questions are uh, exactly what did Deutsche Bank know about its clients' activities and did they fail to report uh, money laundering to the relevant authorities. The, uh, 
uh, German authorities here apparently believe they have enough evidence from the Panama Papers and trying to collect some more evidence today to proceed uh, with some sort of charges. However, we don't know exactly the seriousness of that at this point, but certainly uh, based on what we saw today, there is uh, quite a bit of seriousness uh, apparently involved here. Yes, and it seems that Deutsche Bank really can't catch a break right now because, as we know, this is just the latest in a long list of scandals that the bank's been embroiled in. Tell us a bit more about the other controversies surrounding Deutsche. Right, well, at this point, Deutsche Bank has pretty much become the face of the worldwide uh, scandals that have plagued banks, but Deutsche Bank seems to have been involved in uh, more than just about any other bank out there. They uh, were fined $7.2 billion uh, a couple of years ago by U.S. regulators for their role in the financial crisis of 2008 and those uh, toxic mortgage-backed securities. Uh, they also paid a very large fine, $2.5 billion, to the U.S. and the U.K. for their involvement in the LIBOR scandal. Uh, some Deutsche Bank employees were uh, convicted of being involved in uh, something with, uh, with, with CO2 trading, a tax fraud scheme. So uh, the list really just goes on and on of, of Deutsche Bank's misdeeds, and this appears to be just the latest. And I should also mention that uh, they were involved as well in a Russian money laundering scheme, as well as, as we heard in that report earlier, uh, a connection to the Danish uh, Danske Bank, who is in the middle of another money laundering scandal at the moment. Yes, it's really a wonder that Deutsch is still standing. But the CEO of the bank, Christian Sewing, took the reins in April. Now, he was tasked with turning the bank's fortunes around. Uh, will he be able to do that, given uh, you know, the long list of scandals that it's, it's still yet to settle? Certainly not an easy task to take over Deutsche Bank this year and just getting out from under the weight of the past uh, is going to be very difficult. But uh, despite all the fines and whatnot that they've paid, really uh, perhaps their main problem going forward will be to, uh, to, to, to show that they still uh, still can be a profitable bank despite all these uh, fines, despite all the restructuring that we've seen earlier this year. They failed uh, a U.S. stress test. So uh, the new Deutsche Bank CEO certainly has his work cut out for him. And uh, the shares of Deutsche are off almost 50 percent this year. So uh, not really a, a great beginning uh, for Deutsche Bank's latest turnaround here. Yes, and we will be keeping a close eye on the fallout from these raids. Iris Spitzer in Berlin. Thank you as always.